This is a recording on hypothesis testing, which touch on one sample Z test and one tail test. The mean and standard deviation of the weights produced by the same packaging device in example 3.7 set to fill detergent package with a mean weight of 150 gram are known to drift upwards over time due to the normal welling of some bearings. Obviously, it cannot be allowed to drift too far, so a large random sample of 100 boxes is taken and the content weighted. This sample has a mean weight of 151 gram and a standard deviation of 6.5 gram. Can we conclude that the mean weight produced by the machine has increased? Use a 5% significant level or 0.05 significant level. Let's look at the information. We are testing whether the machine still produces package with mean 150 gram. So, meal is it? 150 gram from this information. We take a random sample of 100 boxes. So that means n equal to 100, the sample size, which is large, and the sample mean 151 gram. This is a sample mean. And the standard deviation from the sample, 6.5 gram. Since we are only interested in whether the mean weight has increased or not, so, a uh, one tail test is appropriate. The null hypothesis H0 is mu equal to 150 gram, and the alternate hypothesis is mu greater than 150 gram. Significant level is 5% or 0.05. To find the critical value from a table, sigma, the population standard deviation, is unknown, but the sample size is large since n is greater than 30. Therefore, we can use a standard normal table, 5% on one tail, which means this area this has to be 5%. And the critical value, we find out that is 1.64. This is how you obtain the critical value of 1.64 from the standard normal table. We know that the area to the right this area to be 5%, 0.05. And area to the right of the center total is 0 0.5. So that means the shaded part is 0 0.45. So you look for the area which is nearest 0 0.45, you find that there are two possible values. One of them is 0.4495. So I'm going to take 1.64 from here. There's another closer value. We can take 1.645 because the other one is 
0.4505, which is also very near to 0.45. So the critical value, this value, Z here, is around 1.64. So having established our critical region, the test statistic is Z equal to X bar minus mu over S over square root N. X bar is 151, 1 to low, and mu is 1, 5 and S is 6.5, N is 100. Calculate, this is 1.54. Now this 1.54 is less than the critical value of 1.645 the critical value so the conclusion is the test statistic is less than the critical value so we do not reject H0 and conclude that the machine does not drift upwards. This diagram shows that the test statistic Z equal to 1.54 does not fall inside the critical region, the shaded region. Therefore, we do not reject the null hypothesis H0 and conclude that the machine still produces the machine still produces package with mean weight 150 gram. We can get the same conclusion without using the standard normal table. Instead, we can use a p-value. So our test statistic is 1.54. So we look at the probability of z greater than 1.54. In our calculator, this is r, 1.54. So let's call out my calculator. and set the mode to statistic mode 3 press AC to get out shift 1 and select 7 for distribution and then select 3 for R and third 1.54 and the probability is 0 0.06178 and this value is greater than 0 0.05 5% so in terms of diagram the area to the right of 1.54 is 0 0.06178 and definitely greater than 0 0.05 because 1.64 is somewhere here where the area is 0 0.05 remember this property is called the P value and this p value is greater than 0 0.05. So, in conclusion, we do not reject the now hypothesis H0, which means the mean weight produced by the machine has not increased.